Maybe there's something in the water of our 10,000 lakes here. Some pretty successful athletes are from right here in Minnesota, and a new book reveals the qualities that made them household names. It's called Minnesota Made Me, and we're glad to be joined by the author, Pat Borzi. Thanks so much for doing this uh, interview with us today, because I do find this super fascinating. Thanks what for inspired me. you to kind of talk about all these athletes and what attributes that made them so successful? Well, the, the book company came to me. I mean, some, some folks, most of, you, most of you probably don't know this, but I'm married to Rachel Brown of the Minneapolis Star Tribune. And the book company came to us and they wanted the two of us to kind of tag team this. And she was getting ready to go to the Olympics, so she couldn't do it. Um, as you might be able to tell from the accent, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not from here. I'm from New York originally. And they were interested in having somebody with an outsider's perspe perspective just kind of look at a whole bunch of different athletes who either either were born and raised here or had moved here and relocated here and just wanted to just figure out what uh, you know what about living here shaped them as athletes and people and it was a fascinating project and we got folks from all different sports all different parts of the state and it was it was just a really really cool thing to, to talk to all these people and see what they all shared. Let's talk, let's talk about some of them. We have some video of uh, Lindsay Whalen. Let's say so. What is it about Lindsay? You covered her uh, with the links, right? Um, you know, growing up in a small town in Hutchinson, she uh, she learned a lot about uh, uh, just hard work and perseverance to begin with, and then just uh, just stick to itiveness. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, Hutchinson is. I don't need to tell your viewers about Hutchinson. It's a, it's a, it's a place where it's kind of outside uh, the home realm of the Twin Cities. So a lot of folks that are they're from that general area, they get they get kind of overlooked. They uh, don't get quite the props that they should. Uh, and so Whalen played pretty much her whole career with this little chip on her shoulder to yeah. try to prove that she was as good as everybody else. And then it turns out that she was better than everybody else. Uh, John Schuster is another name that people will recognize that's covered in this book. What was it about him? Same thing, the chip on the shoulder, the come from behind kind of guy? And, and John had a, had a big chip on his shoulder because he had been, he was uh, the skip of the gold medal curling team. Yeah. And uh, he had been to uh, two Olympics as a skip and had not done very well. Um, and so when he, when his team made the Olympics for a third time, the perception was that this was not going to go well. And not only did it did it go very well, but John ended up skipping his team to a gold medal and making some big shots in the gold medal match to make it happen. It was uh, just a terrific comeback story that, that couldn't have worked out any better. I love this. Minnesotans especially love other Minnesotans and success stories of other Minnesotans. Absolutely. Some other famous names that you'll see in the book, Mac Burke, Ryan Dungey. Uh, so people can go pick up this book and learn a lot about Minnesota athletes and what makes them so successful. Absolutely. I love it's, it. it's available on Amazon right now or at Target, and it'll be in Barnes & Noble beginning uh, November 6th. Pat, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you so, for having me. Uh, we have details of your launch party, actually, we want to let people know. It oh, yeah. is tomorrow, November 1st at 7 p.m. at Summit Brewing Company in St. Paul. And now if you're over 21 and you buy a book, you get a ticket for a free beer. You know how to throw a party, friend. So good for you I, with that I wish one. I could take credit for that idea, but I just, I just seconded the motion. <laughs> we'll be right back. What a great idea.